Before we talk about GitHub, I want to talk a little bit about what is version control. Version control, also known as source control, is a system that records changes to files over time. Um, by recording these changes, it allows you to do several things. One is simply to track how your work has changed over time. But the other thing it lets you do is revert back to an earlier version if some kind of disaster happens. The other thing that it does is it prevents version conflicts, uh, either that you've created yourself or that happen when you're collaborating with other people. So let's talk a little bit about version conflicts and how they arise. So probably you've all had the experience of working on a project for many, many days and you have a particular file, might be a Word file or something like that. And if you've ever had the experience of saving over uh, good material with bad, then you know that it's not uh, the best idea to always keep using the same file name over and over again when you save. It's actually better to save the file under different names so that you can go back to the earlier versions if you run into trouble. Now, uh, if you're haphazard about this, this is the kind of problem you could have. Let's say the first day you create a wonderful text file called shakespeare.txt, and you come in the next day and you create a new version of it called shakespeare1.txt. And you discover some very important and exciting uh, thing that you include in that document, but you run out of time, so you stop working on it for that day. Then you come back in on another day, but you forgot that you already had worked on a second version of the document. So you open up the original version of the document, make some other changes to that document, and then save it. And then you come back on another day and you make some additional changes and suddenly realize, wait a minute, there was like a really important thing that I figured out and somehow that didn't end up in the document. So you go back, you discover your Shakespeare One document, and now you're um, stuck with the question of how do you reconcile these two versions because this one has part of what you want, but also has part of what you got rid of in the final edited version. So this is a, an example of, I guess we could call it pretty bad version control. Another alternative that I actually use sometimes is a very simple informal version control system. And in that system, you take the file name that you're working with and you simply uh, append an ISO 8601 date. That's a date with year, month, and days in that order separated by dashes. And the advantage of doing that is that when you look at the listing of the files, they're, all, they're always in the order in which you created them because when the title of the, when the names of the files get alphabetized, they'll be in chronological order. So now all you have to do is, when you come in the next day is to remember to save a new version of the file with today's date and then make your edits to it. And when you come in on another day, save a new version, make your edits. And this way you can, all, you can just look and see, well, what was the latest date on any um, file name? And as long as you start with that one, you will always incorporate the most recent changes as you go through and work on different versions over time. <clears throat> However, even the simple version control system is not flawless and it particularly is a problem if you're working on two different computers or if you're working with another collaborator um, on different computers. So let's imagine a situation where I am working with my collaborator Tommy over here and so I create this original file called Shakespeare, January 25th. Tommy comes in and makes some important changes to the file. However, the next time I come in, I am not aware that Tommy has been working on this project. So I go back to the original file, and maybe we're keeping them in Dropbox or something like that, and I start editing the original file, and then we're basically in the same situation that we were even when I wasn't using the dates. The problem is that we have to somehow make sure that we're always using the most recent version. And how do you do that if the most recently edited version is on someone else's computer? This can happen even 
to a single person if you work on documents at, at home and also at work. So one of the uh, things that version control and GitHub in particular is designed to eliminate are these sorts of version conflicts.